So one of the ways that I'm building up my soil in my garden is to amend it with biochar and wood ash. Now when I first started to get into making biochar, I used a 55 gallon drum and loaded it up with scrap wood and uh, top lit it and let it burn down and then hosed it down when it was about ready um, to be turned into ash or you know, when it was pretty much all burned up. Uh, this worked pretty well, but it still took quite a bit of time of my time to do it, uh, running out there and checking on it, and then taking time to take a sledgehammer and smash it up in the bottom of the barrel into small pieces so that it wouldn't be such big chunks. So I decided to start trying to convert the charred wood that was left over in our wood stove after a good night's burn in the morning and <clears throat> use that as a soil amendment. Uh, I started using a hammer to smash it up inside the stove and that, was, that wasn't too bad but it ended up being quite a bit of work every morning and you know when, when I wanted to get the fire started I'd be sitting there pounding away at it with a hammer inside the stove to break it up, to smash it up so it didn't be such big chunks later on to have to deal with all at once. Um, so, but I w really wasn't able to make the pieces small enough, uh, small as I would like. Um, you know, more granular little pieces, what I would like, or even powder would be best. So then I screened the ash and the char from the wood stove to separate them so I could grind it up, uh, grind up just the char. Uh, after a couple weeks of doing that, I realized that it was wasting time by screening out the ash. Since I was planning on adding both to my garden beds, I decided to just save time and blend them up together. So this is my current method and it seems to be working fairly well. Uh, I can save quite a bit of ash up and char and blend them all up at once saves time for cleanup especially. So why would I want to add char or ash to my garden? Well, one of the reasons is that it has been discovered that there are these certain areas of the Amazon where the soil is super fertile. These soils were discovered in the late 1800s by a Dutch agronomist. He named these soils uh, Terra Preta or dark earth soils. This is in contrast to the soil you normally find in the Amazon which has a very thin layer of topsoil because of the majority of the carbon is in the canopy. It is only in the last oh, 10 years or so that we have analyzed these soils to any significancy and really understood that it's the char in these soils that are creating these super soils. What we believe happened was that these indigenous populations were grinding up their leftover charred wood and mixing it with their soil and over time it would create these super soils. So what's so special about adding char to the soil is that it helps the soil to retain its nutrients so they don't get leached out. It increases the cation exchange capacity of the soil, which is the soil's ability to exchange nutrients that are in the soil with the plant's roots. It also helps to retain water during dry times so plants can make use of it. It provides habitat also for beneficial soil microbes. It improves the soil structure and lowers the soil acidity. Another great benefit is that it dramatically decreases the off-gassing of nitrous oxide, which is a powerful greenhouse gas. It is created when nitrogen oxidizes, um, basically mix, uh, mixes with oxygen. Nitrogen is uh, denoted by the letter N um, when it is combined with two oxygen mo molecules, it becomes N2O, 
and escapes from the soil and into the atmosphere as nitric um, nitric oxide. So that's one of the, the benefits of this char is to prevent that from happening as, as readily. It hangs on to the nitrogen in the soil. Um, it also prevents the soil organic matter uh, from being lost as easily. And over time it's been shown that it, um, as you remove some of the soil uh, from the top there, it'll re it'll regenerate itself. It'll like continue to mix and create more of this these super soils. Like they're over in the Amazon, they're able to harvest a lot of the soil and cart it off. And within a few years, the soil has you know worked its way down and regenerated itself, made the the lower soil more fertile again. So it's very interesting how it how it works. So that's one of the reasons why I'm adding um, ground up char to my soil and also the ash too has a lot of minerals in there and um, good potassium and phosphorus in there. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing that. So if you're more interested to learn learn more about this, you can. there's plenty available on the internet and um, just look up terra preta um, or black soils and amazon and you should be able to to find it there so all right well thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video have a great day and god bless